I think I need to have a talk to our uh, fitness coach about uh, lifting weights during the season. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 54, Football Manager 20, and we are winding it up, our final season here for FM20. Forrest Green, we've built him up to a Premier League side, finished 8th in the league in a surprising result last year, and we are doing okay this year. So last episode was the season opener against Tottenham and Chelsea, we drew and then beat uh, Chelsea. By the way... I, uh, you, you, you know, I'm an American. Shouldn't it be just as bad to be nationalist as racist? Maybe. So I was reading an article this morning that uh, Frank Lampard, who I already don't like uh, at Chelsea, did not rate Christian Pulisic when he took over Chelsea for the sole reason that he was American. <laughs> I was like, really? Okay. If I was politic, I'd get out of there and leave Fat Frank hanging, but that's just me. All right, well, ever since then, we had a nil-nil draw with West Brom. Then we went in and beat Aston Villa, much like Leeds did in real life yesterday, by the same score, 3-0. The only difference was Patrick Bamford had the hat trick yesterday. Uh, Chirlinov, Marinov, and Nunez with goals in a three-minute span to wind up the game. Very close, tight defensive game on their part, and we could not break them down, much like Leeds, and then just boom, the gates opened, and literally a three-minute span. It was incredible. Carabao Cup win. A 1-0 loss to Burnley, Klaus Simon, or Simone, as we would pronounce it here in, in, uh, in the South at least where I'm from, and then uh, a nil-nil draw against Wolves. So today we're going in against Arsenal, fourth in the table, Crystal Palace in our Carabao Cup third round game. And Palace is currently uh, 16th in the Premier League. So we're drawing a Premier League side in the third round. That's not really good because they want us to reach the fourth round. So it would have been nice to have gotten a uh, little bit easier match, but... Anyway, there we are, 10th in the table, solidly mid-table, wanting us to avoid relegation. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it today. Uh, did I have any other transfers? I did. Forgot to tell you guys about this. So, last episode, we were not very happy with Mr. Flynn Downs getting sent off with the red card. And uh, so we moved, uh, first off, we moved uh, right back uh, reserve Daniel Anyembe for up to $4.6 million. He goes to Asasuna, and uh, so he will be, yeah, he, he'll be missed. But, you know, that was a position that we had built up uh, in the offseason. We bought him for two point eight, sell him on to Spain for three point eight, make a million dollars on him. And uh, so he is off. Flynn Downs. He was our number one choice central mid. I just haven't been happy with him since he joined us. He really struggled to fit in and assimilate last year. We saw him on video make a lot of mistakes. And then I think last episode he had that uh, straight red card for a two-footed lunge. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. And I just really wanted him gone. Uh, we... We didn't get any realistic offers for him, and uh, Gink came in with a hundred ninety-five thousand per month loan fee. So I shipped him out, and uh, we turned around and we brought in Ewan Henderson. But uh, he comes in from Braga. I don't know how to pronounce that first name. Uh, if you know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments because we'll just call him Henderson here. But he is a twenty-five-year-old Scottish lad. And he can play a lot of positions, but he is a natural in the central mid. He can play the uh, deep-lying playmaker. He's almost a natural there. He can function as a box-to-box -box midfielder, but I think he's going to you know he's going to be our our new uh, deep-lying playmaker. Taking a look at the ratings for that balance, I mean everything is just stellar, and he's getting better since he joined us in training. One appearance, he played a 7 rating, 89% passing. So uh, you should see him today uh, in one of the games at least. All right, we are on the road. We are 
underdogs. We've won one, lost one to Arsenal, so evenly matched against them. We've played well, at least. So we're going to go, let's see. Yep, so it's going to be Henderson and Coffey in the mid. Mitchell Fisher on the wings. Serkin, Pavlovich, Bilotti, Cash on the back line. Uh, Gerard in goal. No, it's going to be Nomov in goal. I don't know why they're putting Gerard up there. And Ids and Marinov up top. And then that gives us uh, Jack Clark on the on the bench. Nunez, who has been a goal scorer on the bench. And you know who's not on the bench? That would be uh, Aaron Collins. And uh, can't blame him, but uh, he's just way down the pecking order now. So that's that was a hard decision, but he's just so obviously not at the same level as our other guys. That I don't have a choice, really. All right, we'll ask for the creativity. All right, nice header out. Marinov turns it back upfield, gets tackled. Uh, our guy stumbles on air. We get beat over the top, and Sarudi. Paulo Cerruti, second goal of the season. He just slides it past our keeper. Hmm, not happy with that. That was too easy a goal there, fellas. On the attack again. All right, Henderson charges back to control that ball. And then just gives it away in the midfield. Oh, looks like there might have been a save. There must have been a save there because it's going to be a corner. So I'm going to give credit on that one to Nomov. Come on, boys. Tighten up. Oh, there's a good steal by Henderson. Nice outlet. Oh, taken down. That's got to be a red card. What? Only a yellow. Oh, that was pretty brutal. Uh, demand more. Mitchell's showing some anxiety. Oh, well, there we go. I think we got a we got a foot in on the defense. I think that slowed that up enough for Nomov to make the save. Hmm, that's interesting. All the way back to the keeper from that position. We got a little glitch in the game there. Don't see that too often. Oh, chested down by Ids. He's into the box, and he shoots but can't find the angle. Lino makes the easy save. But, hey, it was a shot, and it was on target. All right, Serkin to Mitchell. There's the shot. Oh, nothing on that. No pace on that ball whatsoever. Let's ask him for some passion now, boys. All right, there's Mitchell making an interception. Fisher. Fisher beats two defenders. Fisher's the, uh, the one we've got on loan. And he is really good. Potentially. Mitchell. All the way back to Henderson. The new signing. Oh, Sarudi just beats our defender. And beats the keeper. Who is that that keeps getting toasted? That is Pavlovich. Uh, you know what? We're pulling him off. We are pulling him off. He's been beaten badly twice. And I think this other guy is supposed to be our starter there anyway. Oh, nice ball there by the new defender. Marinov puts it on target, but there is nothing there. No joy, no joy. Zinnaber picks up an injury. They've got a couple of guys dinged up. Oh, all right. Excellent efforts. Bilotti and Mitchell working yellow cards. All 
All right, we get the first highlight, an early one. Circling into the box. There's a header, and it, oh. That was just a, that was all about positioning. If we would have had a guy there at the back post, could have easily put that in. All right, turn on it, turn on it. Somebody's going to ping that from way out. All right, that's a good move. Fisher crossed in. Oh, Mitchell gets under the ball. That was not good. Ugh. All right, let's encourage him. Oh, some anxiety. I mean, we're actually in this a little bit. All right, Mitchell, I mean, he's not, nobody's playing really bad. I mean, Cash, why is Cash playing so bad? I haven't even seen a highlight with Cash. Cash is on the opposite side. That's strange. Hmm. All right, well, I think I want to bring off Mitchell. Let's bring on Jack Clark there. That'll be our second sub of the game. Fisher near post. They've got a count. Oh. Oh, he gave advantage. Okay, cool. Copy. There's Clark. Getting some screen time. Oh, there's a nice ball. Fisher brings it inside. And there is no finishability there that we can see. All right, J oh, Jack Clark, a bruised shin. He should be able to play through that, I'm thinking. Let's ask for creativity. All right, that goes over. All right, out to Henderson. Out to Cash on the overlap. He does a good job to beat his man. Gets tackled and loses it again. There's a run into Fisher. Oh, how he missed another one. Damn. Yeah, he's rebounded enough. I think he can keep playing. Uh, we're going to pull. Let's make that swap there. Really, after we made that move at center back, we haven't seen their goal score back in action, have we? All right, here comes Ids into the attack. Looks like there was a foul there, and that should be a sending off. So we're going to go positive. Push forward. Yep, second yellow card. So we've got six minutes. Can we do anything here? Doesn't look like it. We didn't even get to see the, the, the set piece. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, a 2 nothing defeat. That's disappointing. Um, I'm going to be assertive. Good effort. And they did. They played well. Rating showed that they played well. Statistics showed they played well. Arsenal's a top four, you know, a top six club here. I mean, there's, you know, nothing we could really do. We had more shots. We came back in possession. It wasn't great, but it was what it was. All right, we'll be right back for the next match. I think I need to have a talk to our uh, fitness coach about uh, lifting weights during the season because uh, we lose two starters to lifting weights in training in this week between matches. Uh, Bilotti is out with a pulled abdominal muscle. He is going to be out for several weeks. Uh, let's head into the medical center. Uh, Bilotti, so two more weeks. And then uh, Fosu Mensa got a double hernia lifting weights, and he's going to be out six more weeks. So, ouch. Uh, we'll be without uh, Jack Clark today with a bruised chin and his conditioning. And Patrick Berg 
is uh, recovering from injury. He's only at uh, 82% match sharpness, but he should be back uh, from his physical condition right now. Uh, he had a face laceration that had put him out. But uh, anyway, let's see if he's going to make the squad today. We are playing uh, Crystal Palace in the Carabao Cup. Berg is not selected for the bench as he is still showing injured. Full fitness in three days, so that is probably okay. I'm going to put Nunez on for this one. I'm going to go ahead and let Gerard start. And I'm going to put Carraro on for Pavlovich. La Quintana for Fisher. And I'm going to bring Aaron Collins on for Kamara. There we are. Certainly not an easy match. We do draw a, another Premier League side. We'll ask him for some creativity here in the early going. Sirkin finds Henderson. Back out to Sirkin. Into the box. And what the hell was that? Looks like there was a penalty, possibly. It is a penalty. All right. Our guy got upended and spun around. You guys have to go back and look at that. Mitchell right down the middle goes behind the diving keeper. His first goal of the season to get on the score sheet. And that is good news for us taking an early 1-0 lead. Five shots, three on target. We'll ask for some more creativity. Mitchell down the left. Loses the, the ball. Traore clears it. Back to Henderson. Good layoff pass. Oh, there's a good cross to the opposite side in the attack. Coffee. La Quintana. Cash. Oh, come on, boys. You need to pull the freaking trigger like that, but... Put it in the net. All right, let's check something here. Uh, yep, let's take that off. They're, they're playing around with the ball too much instead of shooting it. Just, if you're in the box that close, pop it. It's putting the pressure. He poaches the ball. Oh, square it. There it is. Beautiful. And Nunez slots it home. His fourth of the season. Brilliant play by Ids, though, with the assist to steal the ball and then square it for the open shot. That was beautiful. Beautiful play. All right, now you can see we are taking more shots, but our, our targeting is uh, leaving a little bit to be desired. Oh, uh, there was one, a shot from the edge of the box. Uh, is there an offsides possibly? They do. They call it back. Wow. We'll have to take a look at that. Oh, there's two guys, possibly three, just offsides. That's going to be on Gorgini. I think that's how you pronounced it. Couldn't really read it. There's a good steal by Mitchell. He's got acres of space, nobody in front of him. Puts it near post, the tip in from Ids, and Ids gets a reward for that earlier play at, with the rebound goal, and we're up 3-0. His second goal of the season, and we are in control here. It's good seeing all your attacking players. Uh, concentrate, please. Yep, hello. All right. Better overwhelmed than complacent, I suppose. Let's go up to balanced. Probably should have done that for this match anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Second guessing myself. Final minute of the first half. Cash launches it into the box. Do we have time to get another shot here? Oh, there's a lay-in, and Ids with a brace here in the first half. Craig Mitchell, what a lay-in pass that was. Good ball from Henderson to Ids. Or, um, I'm sorry, 
from Henderson to Mitchell and then Ids on the end of that pass and it's 4-0. You guys are going to kill me here, but that's okay. I'm going to pull Ids off. He's sitting a hat trick, but he's our everyday starter, right? I don't want him getting hurt for Premier League matches, so let's put him in. And let's put Cherlinov on for Mitchell. Give him some action. Because we don't see too much of him. All right, Sirkin with the long throw to nobody. Don Juma, good save by Gerard. Now, Gerard is playing a Premier League side. They are a lower level Premier League side, but he's looking a little more solid in goal. I think I'm going to let him. Oh, there's a good save. I think I'm going to. I think he may have won the job. I'm going to. I'm going to look at him again, both of them after the match, see how they've been playing. But my gut's telling me, oh, that was unlucky. That was unlucky. Don Juma left alone at the back post. We missed a, a header in here somewhere. See if I, we can spot that. There's the cross right here. Carraro, our backup uh, center back. And he's got pretty good heading skills. Let's go back to cautious. We don't need to be pushing the ball. Come on, guys. There we go. Up to Henderson. He picks out the pass up to La Quintana, and he puts it right into the defender's feet. But Logan, oh, what a save there by Gerard. One-on-one -on -one opportunity. Pretty happy with that. I'm not really happy with the long throws right now because they're they're just going out to nobody. I mean, they're not even trying to throw them to anybody. All right, La Quintana. Liked what he was looking for at the edge of the box, but can't pick out that pass. Oh, and he just got done. And that was our, why can't I click? Yep, that was our, that was actually our good center back. <laughs> he just skipped right past him like he wasn't even there. And Gerard plucks that one out of the air. Get creative. All right, La Quintana, Henderson. I tell you, I've been impressed with Henderson. I am liking his passing. I am liking. Uh, uh, oh, how did he miss that? How did he miss that? All right, I want to pull off La Quintana. Let's bring on Fisher. Let's praise. All right, that fires them up. That should bring us home. 4-1 victory. Pretty easy going for us. Very happy with the performance. So uh, excellent efforts. We will go with that. Looks like the fourth round of the draw is here in a couple of days. So let's go ahead and get up to that. So we can see our next opponent. So I'll be back for you, with you guys here uh, in just a couple of days for that draw. All right, we are here for the draw. Let's take a look at it. And this will be for the fourth round, eight matches. So let's go ahead and just do the automatic draw and see where we end up. So we will have Brentford and Chesterfield, a League Two side. Hull and Sheffield United, Huddersfield and Liverpool, West Ham, Tottenham, 
couple of Premier League sides. There we are. And we get Man City. Wow, that's that's a favor. There's Everton down in the championship after last year getting relegated. A League One side, MK Dons. Why couldn't we have gotten them? Or Burnley? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. So, we get Man City. That's probably the end of our run in the Carabao Cup. And that's okay. It would have been nice to try to get some silverware this year. All right, guys. We'll hit that like button, subscribe, and come back tomorrow for the next episode. I will get through another handful of games. I tell you what, why don't we come back for that West Ham and Man City. We will do that. Or, yeah, let's do that. West Ham and Man City. We'll be back for that tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications for the daily uploads. Except Sundays. I don't post on Sundays typically. And we will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.